the bond between humans and dogs. It's something that uh, we do very well with. And I, I think we benefit more than the dog. Relationship has been forever. Why did the first dog venture into the campfire? The guys, they, they work together, they train together, they're constantly together. So yeah, there's a, an incredible bond formed there between that warrior and the dog. The knowledge of the capacity and the capability of the creature beside him is reflected in the dog because of the knowledge and the capability that's in the handler. It's a bonding uh, that, that takes place uh, a lot deeper than the average person may ever fully understand. Being a Navy SEAL, everything is about teamwork. That not only includes between your teammates, it also includes with the canines. So what we teach the public is how we interact with these dogs and become one unit, one working unit. And there's that connection between the dog and the person. In Navy Special Warfare, they used the dogs in Vietnam. And then after Vietnam, they didn't use dogs. Post 9-11, they started up the dog program again. Myself and actually Master Chief Ken Corona were the ones that first started this, the canine program for the SEALs again. The need came to us from our operators. They said, hey, we need dogs. We need them to be able to do everything from explosive detection to assault and we started uh, the program and you know it has grown into what it is today and that's one of the best programs in the military. The Navy SEAL Museum is here to educate the public about Navy Special Warfare and what better way to do that than with a fully trained uh, working dog that we have here at the museum. And Raven is a protection asset, an explosive detection asset, as well as an educational tool, so to speak. So Raven was donated to the museum by Baden Canine. Baden Canine trains and breeds the most elite dogs in the world. We sell trained dogs, scent dogs, uh, protection dogs. We deal with high profile clientele. We train people. We put a lot of time into not only the training that goes into these dogs, but the breeding, the raising. And our company stands as my father over 50 years has been working with the dogs and, and training the dogs and, and breeding the dogs. So we're going to send the first dog, which is going to be your dog, right? The other dogs are going to come forward where they can watch. Okay, and remember, you don't have to yell to send them. Subtle, subtle, subtle. Nobody should even be able to hear what goes on, right? Okay? Go ahead. Take, take, take. Yeah. No, tell her clutch. Okay, see? Okay, send her. We have partnered with Baden Canine and the Navy SEAL Museum to uh, start a dog program which uh, helps out uh, veterans, uh, families that are in need of a security dog, um, and Baden Canine supplies these dogs. It started very uh, very small and I think the dog program became an important part in the lives of the veterans. I've been doing this I, I think now for 50 years and veterans are interesting to work with and it's been an honor and a humbling experience for 
my family and this business to work with them. In the middle of the night or in the middle of the afternoon, wherever it may be, when a veteran has a need for the comfort of someone, the dog is there and provides it immediately. With the veteran's full knowledge that the dog is as capable of defending him as a veteran is in defending the dog. So you have two very strong hearts that uh, beat together. This program's different. They're getting a fully trained battle buddy that is able to integrate into their families and their children and their lives. These dogs require these veterans to, to move, get up, get out, and to watch these guys and watch the transformation um, of these guys working and moving with these dogs is incredible. Everybody loves the dogs. Everybody wants to see the dogs. Everybody wants to pet the dog. These dogs are highly versatile because they're incredibly stable. They could be loving, they could be kind, they could be warm. But like a, a turn of a switch, boom. <laughs> Because of the dogs and the program and the seals that are that are moving through the demos, you know, there's a lot of there's a big audience watching and, and, and learning and, and being highly educated through this. So I'm, you know, we're fully on board. I think our visitors are fascinated by what these dogs are capable of, um, and the close relationship that they have with their handlers. And the handlers give a command, and the dogs just do it without question. I think to a lot of people that's fascinating because little Fluffy at home doesn't listen. The museum's constantly giving through the programs to help the, the operators, their families, the veterans. So it's an honor to be part of that program because they're there to help and they do it at a, at a large scale.